And here we are at the double A coming up at uh, 112 pounds. We're going to have Tom Brands of Sheldon, the brother of Terry Brands, you just saw, also undefeated Tom Brands, against Centerville's Chad Zapatil, who's only lost once in 29 matches this year. Interesting to point out, too, I think, that the referee will be this year's referee of the year, chosen by his colleagues, Arlu Flagey of Waverly. And I mentioned that, that uh, Terry Brands from Sheldon was a defending champion. This young man, Tom Brands from Sheldon, man with the stripes down the side of his uniform. Dark uniform. Right, was, uh, was second last year at 105, so he's moved up just like his brother. And if he's... Uh, brother was good in his feet as a state champion. Tom Brands has only had one takedown scored against him all year. Tell you more about how many how he scores points in a bit. Up there in the corner, you see the 1A. That'll be between Vance Light of Lisbon, undefeated against Matt McClenahan of Sigourney. And at AAA, it'll be Brad Brule of Fort Dodge, son of an old teammate of yours, I think, Chuck. And Gary Steffensmeyer of Fort Madison. But well, here we are at AA. That Brule was a, not a teammate. He was an athlete that wrestled for me when I was coaching oh, in right. Northern Iowa. I can't get you, You'll age his father right, right into the being bald as I am. Well, I'll tell you, we turned around, though, a minute ago. I, I said to CP, 12,500 people here, here and uh, show me three people which you don't know. <laughs> and you didn't think you could do it. <laughs> Take get down up. for uh, Tom Brands of Sheldon over Chad Zapatil. Brands in the dark uniform, Zapatil right in the red. Well, Zapatil's only a sophomore. And of course, he's in a here with a, with a young man that's been to this position okay, before, sir, into the finals. On. Of course, last year, Brands' only loss was to Kelber, the young man that we've already featured as being one of the real outstanding seniors in the tournament and whom we'll see very shortly. Okay, off the back, work for a Tom ball. Brands work got for a to the ball. finals by scoring, now get this, First of all, 19 to 4 win, technical fall over Plegenpool of West Union, and then 16 to 5 over Thompson of Iowa Falls, and then 19 to 2 Take over Frost of uh, Laporte City. Take him back on. He knows exactly what he's doing, doesn't he? He's uh, in control of this match fairly easily. Well, in this in this match, we're watching Zapital from Centerville did lose last year to Tom Brands in this tournament. Maybe there's a little bit of that. I don't know as that uh, holds very long in your memory, but when somebody's beating you okay, 10 to nothing, you probably have a fairly strong reminder when he starts to get on you that, that he has good talent. Notice that Brands started with that international start position and then went right into the ride. And he, he used the momentum of his body being high Watch to come on down face. in and, right. and jam the arm. Use that cross face right. End of the first period. Two Your nothing Brand. Green. green takes both up. Brands wants to be on his feet. That's another choice this year. You get four choices. There are the 1A team standings, the 2A team standings, and the 3A. Holder. Boy, Marshall Towns moved Take right in time. on Charles Start City. I'm all right. I'm all right. We'll be seeing our first okay. Charles City wrestler here off. before too long. That's Brands. In the dark uniform, Zapatil of Centerville. Circle in there. Well, each man's controlling the other man's wrist Red, and just kind of pushing into them. You hear the referee saying, you got a circle, and just back out. There's not a lot of offensive pressure, but there's, there's body pressure, which forces you to change your attack, kind of takes you out of what you'd like to be able to do. Just did a little outside single, didn't penetrate it deep, and now he's in on one that is deep. They're oh. awful near the edge. Oh, they got away from the edge. So it's a two-point takedown. Put it on there. For two Brand. The two there. Big Four to nothing. Taker. He gave him the two. There. Move on. A minute, 17 seconds to go in the second period, 112 pounds. You're watching live on Iowa Public Television from Veterans Auditorium, the 1986 state championship wrestling tournament. Yep. Here, Tom Brands is real good on top. You see him just put a lot of pressure on young Chad Zapital from Centerville. Tight around the waist. You know, after the arms, puts pressure on him to just knock him flat. 
When I warn you, you got to go for a ball. You hit right in. Let's go. Flaggy is. Marla Flaggy warns for Tom Brands for being too cautious on top. They said there, move on. Get one warning, you know, and next time it's a penalty point for your opponent. Well, it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me to see him if he can't tip him easily. Uh -oh. I wouldn't doubt him. He's got him on his back right here, but he did. He locked his hands. One right here. Locked hands. A point for Zappato. You can't Good lock your here. hands on your opponent when you're on the mat. And this outside judge saw that also. Saw his hand come across to stop that move. You know what? You move. Got it? Okay. That's four to one. A little tougher match for this member of the Brands Twins. It starts to get tougher, not just uh, because the, the opponent's different, but it's as they start to get bigger. You know, there's a little bit as uh, these athletes get toward 119, 126, you start to find more of them. And he's got the wrist tied up really tight. It's just hard for him to turn him from the position he's in. Down here. Out of bounds. Only 17 seconds remain in the second period of four to one. Right. Uh, he instead to know that at uh, <clears throat> the single A division, Light of Lisbon leads his opponent six to three. Nine to three now. And a triple A in the fourth Dodge Fort Madison match. The score there is 13 to five in favor of Stephensmeyer of Fort Madison. And those are in the last period as well. Right there. There's no change there, so it still remains four to one right going into the last period. Tom Brands from Sheldon leading. That's Chad Zapatil, center which had Hold one up. point so far, and it was when his opponent locked hands. Hey, move her up here. Back on the feet again. They both like it up. And in on the leg goes Brand. The single leg turns it quickly into two points. Six to one. But the yard has been warned for riding on top. It's not uh, surprising to me if he wouldn't move off, just give him a point, start to just wrestle him on his feet. Because the man from Centerville, Chad Zappetable, is staying awful low, keeping the hips down low, really just kind of blocking him this out. It's hard for him to go. go. This time Let's the go. warning goes against Zappetil. So neither one of them can afford to sit back. Yeah, they've both down. been warned for stalling. So he's got to, he's going to have to be effective here, something that, or get, get called. Now, it's a, the bondman really isn't making any moves, so he's trying to grind him into that hip tilt position. He's got the arm tight. He's attempting to tip his back. Real difficult, as long as that man on the bottom just keeps his hips basically flat to the mat. We're in the last minute. One the Brands brothers, we just intentionally let him out on that little sit out and just let him go. Makes it six to two. The Good Brands job. brothers of Sheldon trying to make it a family Fortune night tonight. Terry Brands already won a championship at 105. Tom Brands leads by four with about a half a minute to go in his quest for a championship at 112. Well, Brands hits that low, leg, low level attack. You see him back in on the leg again. And, and with that kind of attack, even losing a takedown in a scramble, he still won't get hurt, but he gained the takedown there. So he's now ahead eight to two. And pretty much has the match sewed up. He's had four takedowns, all on that single leg. Keep working. He has really in control, fairly, fairly in control of most of the match. Yeah, he has, he hasn't been able to turn Zapatil, but uh, it hasn't mattered. It's going to end right now. there. Score eight to two. State champion is Tom Brands yeah. at Sheldon High School. His coach Galen Nelson has to be pleased to have two such talented and committed performers. And, and have them back, too. That's right. They're only juniors. 17-year-old juniors from Sheldon High School. Well, we're going to go down to the other end of the arena now for the awards at 105 pounds, beginning with the small school class, the uh, 1A. Presenting the class 1A, 100. Big night for him. Let's go to Dean Borg. Well, Doug, you and Chuck talking about Lisbon, 
caught another one. They caught another champion here at 112 a few minutes ago. Vance Light, who last year was fourth at 105, is the new champion at 112 pounds. He decisioned Matt McClenahan of Sigourney, 9 to 4. Vance Light in control all the way. Two points in the first period and adds another three in the second, four more in the third. And uh, McClenahan was on the defensive most of the time. Dick? Okay, Doug, there you see the champion at uh, 112 pounds is young Steffensmeyer, Gary Steffensmeyer, who used a total of seven near-fall tilts to win his match impressively over Brad Brule of Fort Dodge, 17 to 5. And a happy lad there is greeted by Coach Vic Pickford of Fort Madison. He's been here three times. This year he takes home the gold. Back to you, Doug. Gentlemen, thank you. 119 pounds. We have 98 pounds. Uh, the uh, Class A champions. Those are the top six place winners on the stand. Presenting the 112-pound Class 1A awards, Coach Brad Smith of Lisbon. Sixth place, Steve Phillips, Ida Grove. Fifth place, Steve Toma, Gilbertville, Don Bosco. Fourth place, Phil Burian, Iowa City, Regina. Third place, Keith Van Beek, Rock Rapids, Central Lion. Second place, Matt McClenahan, Sigourney. And the 1A 112-pound champion from Lisbon, Vance Light. Second champion from Lisbon tonight. They are already locked up, the team champions in the Class A division, Lisbon. We have a pretty good fight going at AAA, we'll tell you about here in just a minute. Coming up on the stand now are the 112-pound place winners in the double A division. pound awards, Coach Galen Nelson of Sheldon. Sixth place, Travis Frusch, LaPorte City. Fifth place, Darren Snyder, New Hampton. Fourth place, Todd Harper, Glenwood. Third place, Doug Thompson, Iowa Falls. Second place, Chad Zapatel, Centerville. And the 2A 112-pound champion from Sheldon, Tom Brands. He looks a lot like the last guy that won. He sure does, doesn't he? Well, that's something their parents have had to work out, I'm sure, over the years. Well, they certainly are good wrestlers, and they deserve a lot of credit for being back-to-back -back champions. The Brands from Sheldon. Now we're at 112 pounds for the Triple A division. On the wards, Coach Mick Pickford of Fort Madison. Sixth place, Tom Ho Boone. Fifth place, Todd Springer, Waterloo Central. Fourth place, Sean Watt Ames. Third place, Dan Fiala with Des Moines, West Des Moines Dowling. Second place, Brad Brule, Fort Dodge. The 3A 112-pound champion from Fort Madison, Gary Steffensmeyer. The champion at Triple A, proud young man from Fort Madison. He Let's get a floor report from Dick Trotter. Okay, Doug, at 119 